Hello, good morning, good afternoon, where you guys are joined in. So I'm going to give a tour of my studio today. Well, it's a bedroom. Let's call a spade a spade. But I'll show you what I do, how I record my videos, and some tips and tricks. If you um, might pick from this video, I'd be very happy. All right. So from left to right, there's a little bit of storage. Very messy. But also, let me just start with this wall. I use this as a background. If you've seen a couple of my thumbnails, I use this as a backdrop. I keep changing different paintings. But also what I have is an IKEA table, not fixed, and a couple of stands. These are the cheapest stands and the cheapest table you can find. I use that uh, whenever I have to prop against that particular wall. So I used to do a lot of jewelry before, so I've got some jewelry bits and bobs in the last two shelves, which is not interesting. But what is interesting is I got uh, plenty of uh, quarter sheets cut. There's uh, more I usually buy in packs of 125 full size paper and I cut them into different size from um, Jackson's. I got some paintings which are finished. There's plenty more finished, different size depending on where, where it is. There's some uh, laptops, some uh, drawing books and few kid stuff. So I got young two kids, uh, the kids I'm always messing around with them. And the actual setup. So I've got two camera setup. Nothing fancy. So there's one which is a Pixel 2. This is my old phone that I use it for um, side view. I got on a laptop connected for my Blue Yeti uh, microphone. I think I paid about 100 quid. And the stand itself, these are about 19 quid each. And I've got a... Uh, LED lights to IKEA again, but what I've done is when you look at other studios, I have five big lights mounted on top of the wall. So I don't have to worry about, all I have to do is just turn it on and then they are uh, good. For the incline, I have two cans of beans. These beans are probably about seven years old. So they might explode if I pop open, but they do the job. And then also when I do it, I make sure I put in a little bit of tape so that it doesn't slide. Very annoying when you are trying to do and then the shift, it changes. Uh, in terms of palette, I've got two palettes, which I use mainly. This one is my John Pike palette. It's got 21 wells. I've got two water containers. One is a little more dirtier and the other one, if I have to introduce that water to the painting. I've got a tissue roll. I usually have a piece of tissue in my hand if I have to soak quickly but I use that for soaking as well. A rough water, lots of water on the, when I clean the brush, but if I'm very precise, I want to use the tissue roll. Uh, depending on where it is, I place them very close by so that I can access. So this is my main brush set at the moment, because once I started YouTube, I've never done more than a quarter, she quarter sheet. So these are all things I use for quarter sheet. And if I'm keen on using slightly bigger, that's my, there's a brush which has much more bigger brushes, but I don't tend to, oh, sorry, I don't tend to use them, uh, mainly because of the YouTube at the moment. And uh, I've got a few more different pieces, so this is what I'm talking about. So a small piece of um, a marketing board. I'm not sure what they are, some sort of plastic. They're very, really good, especially the way they um you can attach the the masking tape i've tried different things but this one seems to have really good adherence and it's a plastic so it's, it keeps uh, the paper intact so in terms of palette i've got another one i've got a john pike palette same color combination so Exactly the same color combination. If I go through quickly the colors, I've got uh, Indian yellow, there's uh, sorry, uh, lemon yellow, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, uh, burnt timber, burnt sienna, raw umber, purple, crimson red, vermilion red, pyrrole red, emerald green, sap green, verdian green, turquoise, that one is lavender, cerulean blue. Ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, tallow blue, 
and gray. So there's a few colors which I use over and over again, but I like a shade of a little bit of gray all the time. Also, I have my wife's uh, hair dryer, which is very handy. And as I said, there's two lights, which is uh, what I do. I also tend to move that camera pod over here. This is where I do my little bit of editing. I've got another light, so I can turn on three lights and I can do quick small painting. Can Nikon D3200. I am trying to get better at content at the moment, so I'm trying to get a better angle. It en you enjoy it? And probably this is one of the cheapest uh, studio setup. You can see two phones and the phone, sorry, and the phone I'm using right now is a Google Pixel. That's that's the one which goes into this one for uh, top shot. And that's uh, Pixel 2. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like more videos or if you want to know more about any of the um, materials or things you, I use in my studio, I'll drop a comment and I'll be happy to let you know what needs to be done. Till next time, keep water coloring and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, help me out. Till next time, keep water coloring and bye.